everybody, and it is time for wreck -It Wednesdays, and I think this is week five, or maybe it's week six. I don't know. We missed a week in there somewhere, and now it's just all a bunch of ketchup sloshing around in my brain. So let's just get started with this week's 10 pages, shall we? It is no warmer this week. Ugh, don't mind me. Just taking this book for a walk. Walk in the book. Oh, yeah. I hope all of my neighbors are witnessing this magnificence right now. Just look at it. It looks so pathetic. Hi there. The next thing we're supposed to do is rub this page with dirt. I'm going to put the book in the dirt. I don't like touching the dirt. Oh, okay. Can you see this happening? Rubbing with dirt. Mm, ew. That's too dirty. <laughs> It looks like someone poopied on this page. All right. The next task is to drip something here and then close the book and make some kind of, oh, there's a tiny little dog running through my neighborhood. Do you hear that? I'm supposed to drip something here and then close the book. And I guess it's supposed to make like one of those ink blot looking things. The only kind of liquidy colored substance I have in my house is some leftover writ dye in the color red. So it might look kind of creepy. Right. Good times. It looks like I just put some tiny little creature inside of this book and then just smashed its guts out. Oh, it looks like an upside down bat. Are you seeing the bat? Nice. The next page I was supposed to use as a test page for pens and markers and art supplies. As you can tell, I don't have that many art supplies, but I started out, I bought those moldy paints. Do you guys remember my moldy watercolors? And I swatched each one. I love the colors, it looks so beautiful. And then when I first bought my colorful markers, I did a little swirly here. I need to get some more art supplies so I can do some more swatches. Now it's covered with dirt though, so it's less appealing. Are you aware that dirt is smelly? Like I can smell it from here. Not pleasant, don't, don't wanna get any closer to that. The next page I did a couple weeks ago while I was watching TV and I have literally been waiting ever since to show you guys. I think this might be my favorite page now so far. It was to, oh, so far. <laughs> I was supposed to sew this page. So I did this skull and crossbones and he's wearing a fancy little top hat. And I just have to tell you guys, for some reason, it was so much fun sewing through a piece of paper. I've never done that before. I normally like sew on fabric. Oh, now you can't see the back stitches because of the next page that I did. The next page, I was supposed to glue some random newspapers here. This page I actually got from Swamp Family Mail. And please forgive me. I think that this is a Swedish newspaper. I could be wrong. I've had it shoved in the bottom part of my desk for a really long time. And this one, which now looks bloody thanks to our little ink blot page, is an article that somebody gave me and it's a book that I would like to try and find. And it is called Cat Sense and it's about what your cat is supposed to be thinking. I kind of just stapled that in here so I could finish reading the article because I didn't get to do that yet. I sure would like to know what my cat is thinking. Where is he? Oh, look at you, you're so cute. I said cat little boys. Oh, it's your kitten. Look at your ferocious cat teeth. Look at that. Ferocious beast. What are your thoughts, ferocious beast? Oh, it's your kitty. Oh. Kitten. Kitten, I love you. I'm so fuzzy kitten. Let's see what we have next here. I'm sure I'm coming right up on a point when I failed at some point, because we know I can't possibly complete 10 pages. It's like, I don't know. I'm a self saboteur. The next thing is a place for grocery lists. So you can tell I don't do a lot of grocery shopping. I have on here Gatorade frozen taco pizza. I've never heard of this before, but Dogman asked me to get a taco frozen pizza. It's like pizza, taco. Is that food supposed to go together? I don't know. I found it though. It was exciting. I think it's Red Baron, just in case you want a taco pizza. Three kiwis and lemon pepino, which is yet more Gatorade. That's all we consume in this house. And bacon! The next page is a work in progress and I'm only able to complete this because of you guys, but this is a page for collecting stamps 
off of all your mail. So I'm getting these all from Swamp Family Letters and I'm trying to collect different ones and ones from all over the world. And this is just so fascinating. I'm gonna try and get up close so you guys can see. The sun, I'm combating the sun today, but don't let the sun trick you. It's so frozen outside. Okay, next is a challenge. I'm going to do it right before your very eyes. I am supposed to trace all of the things. All, uh, no, it just says trace the things, thank goodness. You don't wanna see all the things, but trace the things in your bag and let the lines overlap. I have returned to the chair. I feel like all the things I chose to trace were good choices. Till I got to the iPhone charger. That was like a wonky choice. Look at the sun blinding us. Stop it. The last page for this week is to cover this page with white things. And I've been trying to save up the white things. Like there's a worm from the Swamp Family Mail. Do you guys remember that? And then some lovely white duct tape with insects all over it. And a wrapper from some delicious chocolate from Mexico. And the top of an uncommon objects receipt, which is my favorite store on earth. You guys know this. And this, I don't think you can even see it, but I guess you can see because it's taped on the back. I put some white fabric on here. It's like some white netting and it's got little sparkles in it so it just gives it an extra layer. But I'm on the quest for more white things to fill up the other white space. That is it for this week. I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. I am putting my contest link at the in, in the info box of this video. I'm not talking properly. <laughs> it's like sometimes my brain moves too fast for my mouth to keep up with. <sighs> anyway, if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, just for fun and as a friendly reminder, I'm going to be putting my contest link first in the info box. I am giving away the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette in celebration of Valentine's Day, which is only a few days away. So if you haven't gotten the chance yet to enter, click that link and you can enter. It's a good thing. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. I see you trying to eat the Swamp Family Mail. Do you think they appreciate that much? Look at you. Look at you. It's not a toy. Boris. Boris. Boris! Kitty! Who did that? Kitty! Who did that? Say hello to your family on the internet. Look at them. Look at them. No? Antisocial? Curious? Look at how you've grown. Show them how big you are. Look at that. Wow. Much cat. Yes. Very playful. Yes. Okay, don't actually eat it.